In this video, I'm going to talk about project management in Autodesk Maya 2022. When you're first starting out in Maya, you can actually just begin working and creating models and designing directly in the interface. What I'm about to talk about here doesn't really need to be done. However, as you continue on and have more advanced projects, this can become extremely important. When you first create a Maya project or a Maya file, for your models. Maya by default actually goes into your documents folder and makes a Maya folder. In this Maya folder, you have several elements here, but more specifically, I want to draw your attention to the projects folder. In the projects folder, whenever you first install Autodesk Maya, it's going to create a default folder for all of your projects. In the grand scheme of things, you could technically keep saving your Maya files directly into the scenes folder over and over again and only save that one file. However, as you can see in the default project here, notice how you, it creates an asset folder, autosave, cache, images, movies, scene assembly, scenes, etc. And also very importantly, the workspace Maya script file. This is a means of remembering how Maya was last set up for your project. So one nice thing is if you move from computer to computer, you don't just want to grab the Maya working file. You will probably want to grab your entire project folder, in this example default, so that the workspace script file will move with you and also any other elements that you may be using. Maya helps you as far as having these multiple files so that you can actually store additional assets and just pull from them. So that's on the outer side of Maya. Let's come back into Maya and actually look at where you can access that information. Under the file drop-down menu in Maya, there is a section here called Project. It is towards the bottom of your flyout menu. You have a choice between Project Window and Set Project. Project window, if you click on that, will bring up the actual window that will allow you, first off, you can change locations of project items and also the name of the project. So this is off to the side. Currently, for this project that I'm working on with the sphere, I am in default. But let's say for the first assignment or for the first project, I actually want to make a project folder specifically for my project one. I can come over and say new and notice how it says new project. So for instance here, I can change this to project one. Notice the location. By default, Maya wants to store it into the projects folder. So in your projects folder, you can have multiple projects that you can switch between depending on what you're working on in Maya. Notice that for the, prim for the primary project, it will again have each of these files or folders here that you will be able to work with. Once you change the name, you can go ahead and say accept. Now, here's the catch though. Let's say I wanna save this working file. So I go up and I choose file, save scene. Notice now that Maya makes the assumption that you wanna be in that new project one folder and notice it's pointing me to the scenes. If at any point in time, you need to change your mind or you want to flip back, you have two options. You can either use your navigation at the top of the Save As window to go up and down through the directories, or if I cancel here, under the File drop-down menu, there was one other area under Project, and that is Set Project. I can choose under the Project settings here which of the project folders I'd actually like to be working in. So for instance, maybe I say, you know what, this actually has nothing to do with project one. I'd like to be working in my default directory. I can double click and choose set. And then if I come back and do file, save scene, notice at the top here, you see how it has actually changed over back to the default. So I could come in and name this example file. Now if I go back outside to the defaults and I go under Scenes, there you can see my Maya file. When submitting a project, if you are going to submit the entire project and with working files, I would strongly urge you to work in this methodology whereby 
you will have the actual project folder. So to use, for instance, let's say you complete project one, you could right click, send to a compressed zip folder, and you can see the little zipper on it, and that's what you would submit to Blackboard. This can take some getting used to, and honestly, it can be very easy to forget about switching between your projects. In the long run, however, this can actually make it for much more organized projects, and also as well that you don't have overlapping elements or giant bogged down folders on your system.